Hi, yet another important video from the course electronic devices and circuits and still yet another important topic. It's all about uh, uh, some discussion, important discussion, derivation about fixed bias, right? Exam point of view, what may be asked? The question is, it will be asked to derive expressions for S, um, S dash and S double dash, various stability factors as far as fixed bias is concerned. And it, uh, that's not all the question. It may be asked to establish a relationship between uh, S and S dash, S and S double dash, and then conclude something from the uh, final derivation. So, what is what is S actually? It's a what is that change in IC due to change in IC VO. Um, considering what uh, VBE and uh, beta as constants. No place over there. Please don't mind. And what is S dash? It's a change in IC due to change in uh, uh, VBE considering um, IC, BO and beta as constants. Alright, and what is S double dash? It's a, according to the definition, the definition, uh, change in IC due to change in uh, beta considering what the other two parameters IC, BO, treating IC, BO and VBE as constants. Alright, so it will be asked uh, from the circuit diagram, have to draw the, have to present the circuit diagram and then do some analysis and derive expressions for S, S dash and S double dash and then also establishing some relationship between all those three uh, internal relationships. Alright, so where do we start from? And uh, advised, it's advised. Um, uh, this is not the beginning, alright. If you have to do something with this one, the previous chapters and the previous chapters, you will come across that equation. Uh, what I C is equal to one plus. Uh, no, I went wrong. Okay, it's correct. But the second term is uh, I B uh, beta times I B plus one plus beta I C B O. Alright. So. Uh, Linda, it's a very important expression which will uh, we start from this very expression in the previous chapters uh, when we uh, start with the transistor construction, transistor currents, and all. All right, and while establishing relationship between alpha and beta of a transistor, then we come across this one. And also, there's another reality, another statement is uh, what currents do we come across in a transistor? It's uh, it will be IE, comma IB, comma IC, comma. I C B O. Alright, uh, these four uh, transist, I mean tra currents that we come across in a transistor: emitter current, base current, collector current, and what is this? Uh, reverse saturation current, uh, reverse current uh, across uh, the collector junction. One junction is forward biased. Uh, no, no, precisely, emitter junction is forward biased and collector junction is reverse biased, isn't it? So, in the reverse biased junction, we come across this one, which is this one. And all these came into existence. Now the truth is that that statement you have to remember while deriving this one is if at all there is any change in one current, definitely oh, there will be a change in all oh, the four currents. Make a note of this one. If at all, there, it's it's completely temperature dependent. Right? It's completely temperature dependent. And uh, with the rising temperature, there will be a um, with a change in temperature, uh, not exactly a rise or drop, not that the point. If there is a change in temperature, there will be a change in ICBO. That will, it's a cumulative process like thing. One, if there is any change in one uh, current in the transistor, all the, the uh, that affects all the four, all the three currents in the transistor. All right, change in ICBO will give rise to change in IB. That will give rise to change in IC. Like that, all the interlinked. Right, or change in one current will give rise to a change in another current, and where do we start from? So, guys, uh, um, from here itself, uh, this apply, applying this very statement. What is that? Change in one current will give rise to change in other currents, isn't it? So, in that in that case, uh, this is a current. This is a current. This is a current. All right. So, change in uh, do change in IC, do IC, which is equal. It's a constant beta. Uh, change in IC will give rise to, I mean, there is a change in IB also, DIB by Do IC, alright, plus 1 plus beta, it's a constant, Do IC BO by Do IC, alright, so guys, what is this one, Do IC by Do IC, it's equal to 1, isn't it, 1, which is equal to, and here, it's a, it's, it's 1, alright, so here, Do IC by Do IC, it's a 1, 
so on. And uh, uh, this term, this term, is positive this side, all right. Uh, to the LHS that will be negative, all right. Beta do I B by do I C, which is equal to one plus beta. And uh, this one, uh, what is this ratio from the definitions? What is this ratio? It's a uh, the first one, I guess, but it's in reciprocal, all right. Do I C by do I C B O? It's a S, and we have uh, the reciprocal, so it's a S over here, all right. So we are in search of S, which is equal to one plus beta by one minus beta do I B by do I C. All right. Let me write it again. Hey, this is the problem with the script. It's uh, just uh, rearranging for S. What do we have? One plus beta as it is, and this comes up. This comes down. So one minus beta. Do I B by do I C. Right? We'll make use of this expression to evaluate S and then uh, S dash and then S double dash. We can go ahead. All right, making use of this expression and making use of this reality. One the change in one current, it's interlinked. All the currents will be changing. All right, so this is the one. All right, so we didn't um, start with the fixed bias circuit, isn't it? So guys, uh, I need this place. All right. We don't need, do we need this one? Really? No, this is, we don't need this anymore. Anymore, for the time being. So, what, uh, guys, remember, um, where, where, if at all, for the uh, circuit to be convenient, to, uh, start to draw with the transistor. Alright, so I saw my students drawing from the resistors and plus VCC, all that. No, uh, try to draw the transistor first and then give the connection, that will be more convenient. Alright, so fixed bias circuit. Uh, generally, it's a common emitter configuration for various reasons. Emitter is grounded over here, all right. And uh, uh, we have we have a resistor. It's to the collector, and so it will be RC. And here to the base, so it's a RB with a plus VCC over here, all right. And here IB will be flowing to the base IB, and here it's a IC, all right. So these are the uh, I C over here, and uh, what voltage do we have? It's a measure between base and uh, emitter, so it's a VBE. It's always 0.7 volts for silicon and something else, unless and until specified by the manufacturer. And here we have VCE. All right, here we have VCE. Now this is the uh, very the first very basic simple uh, circuit for uh, stabilization. All right. And we start from this one. All right? A small modification in the fixed bias gives rise to an auto circuit collected to base bias like that. For the time being, we are operating on this one, so let's stick to this one. So, writing uh, what is the input loop now from here, from the source to this point, this point. It's a input loop, right? So, thin lines drop, so voltage drops. This supply is equal to this drop plus this drop. Alright, so how do I write that expression for VCC? The supply voltage VCC is equal to this is divided to this and this. So it what it is I B R B plus V B E. Alright, so that's the expression, and from which we have uh, uh, which we have uh, I B is equal to V C C minus. It's a positive. This its side it will be negative. V B E, which is equal to, I mean, uh, f uh, arranging for I B, it's a R B. Take a pause. You have to understand something over here, which is equal to I B, which is equal to I B. Take a pause. You need to understand over here. I B is equal. To, it's a constant VCC, 12 volts, 5 volts, 15 volts, 30 volts. Your R P S, unless and until. It's a DC. It's a constant. V B 0.7. It's a constant. R B. Uh, that resistor which you connect on the breadboard is that a variable or a constant? Resistor RC, I mean, resistor connecting on the breadboard, it's a constant, isn't it? We have three terms, it's a constant, even this is constant, even this is a constant. So IV is constant, constant. Alright, it's fixed, and so the circuit has got the name fixed bias. IV is fixed, IV is constant, and so the name. Alright, it's a constant. IV is constant. And uh, uh, first derivative of a constant, what I mean is, though it's a constant, though I B 
by do I see what it will be? First derivative of a constant, it's a zero, isn't it? It's a zero. Do I b by do I c? No I c term and it's a constant, so the first derivative will be zero. What is that? Do I b by do I c? So the same do I b by do I c. So what it will be? S is equal to 1 plus beta upon 1 minus beta into 0. So this is equal to 1 plus beta. Expression for S stability factor S of a fixed bias. Alright, this is how we have to uh, arrive at this point. On the other hand, on the other hand, something else to be derived. Getting back to this expression, getting back to this expression, what do we have? Um, I C, rewriting this again, I C is equal to beta, beta, as I B, this is the expression for I B, alright, so I will plug in this uh, value of I B over here, so what is that, V C C minus V B by R B done with the I B plus um, 1 plus beta into I C B O, isn't it? So, uh, what is that second S dash is it is defined as do I C by do V B uh, assuming what? I C B O comma beta as constants. Alright, so in this case, in this expression, if this is the case, uh, do I C by do V B E will be equal to as um, we have, it's a beta, it's a I C B O, and according to the definition, these are constants, so that will be zero. The first derivative, all right. So this becomes this is a zero. We don't have that anymore. It's a zero, all right. Plus, and we have two terms over here. Uh, what, what are the two terms? It's a uh, uh, beta V C C by R B minus beta V B E by R B. Um, Okay, not yet, not yet. It's a IC, all right. It's a IC, still it's a IC, and uh, plus one plus beta into ICBO, all right. So now, uh, as dash definition is do IC by do VBE, uh, assuming beta and ICBO as constants. So that will be this will be zero as it is zero minus. With respect to VBE, so we will be left with beta in by RB plus so zero. Alright, that's the expression for S. Guys, so S uh, finally S dash. Hope you can see over here. S dash is equal to negative of beta by RD. Alright, so come back over here. Let me do it over here. Please uh, don't mind. Uh, what it is is uh, what is that? S dash is found out to be negative of uh, beta by RB. So what if we, we do this one? 1 plus beta, 1 plus beta. We will go back to that same position, isn't it? So uh, what is this? What do we have? S dash is equal to minus of beta by RB into 1 plus beta into 1 plus beta. 1 plus beta. It's a S. Establishing a relationship between S dash and S in a fixed bias. Alright, it's a minus beta times, I mean minus beta by RB into 1 plus beta times S, S dash S. Alright, this expression for S dash, alright, minus beta by RB and multiplying this one, we will take this form and so this is the way to establish a relationship between S dash and S. And uh, this is the third one. Talking about the third one. Guys, uh, hope you have taken this one. It's a zero. So, talking about the uh, third stability factor. What is that third stability factor? It's a uh, low IC. Uh, change in IC due to change in beta. Alright. So, considering this expression once again. It's a, uh, what is that? IC. This again. IC. Which is equal to beta. VCC minus VBE upon RB plus uh, one, I mean, let me split it away, alright? 
ICVO for this plus beta ICVO for this. Right? And uh, what do we have? Uh, guys, uh, uh, the second, the third stability factor which is equal to dou IC by dou beta will be equal to mean entire expression with respect to beta. So we, we repeat this again, this one with respect to this. So we have VCC minus VBE by RB plus um, when we go for this one with respect to beta, all the two terms will be treated as constant. So this will be 0 plus with respect to beta. So we have ICBO. Alright. So guys, uh, this one, this entire, this entire, this one, uh, S double dash will be equal to, what is it, VCC minus VB by RB, uh, I erased it, but it's uh, IB, IB, we, in this very place I have written from the circuit diagram, make a note that, plus ICBO, guys, which is approximately equal to IB. Neglecting this one, when compared to IB, ICBO will be very small, so approximately equal to IB, alright? And uh, what according to the definition? Uh, according to the definition of beta alpha and beta, um, uh, beta will be equal to IC by IB, isn't it? So IB will be equal to IC by beta, so plugging in this relationship over here, S double dash will be equal to IC by beta a relationship. I mean expression for um, distributive factor S dash change in IC due to change in beta. Right? And uh, multiplying 1 plus beta by 1 plus beta that will give us what is this? 1 plus beta S double dash is equal to IC by beta beta into 1 plus beta into s why because s is equal to this one establishing a relationship between s double dash and s so this says that is a uh, uh, from this expression and what is that from this expression uh, s dash is directly proportional to this one and even s double dash is directly proportional to s um, that point to be noted over here is if you take care of s if you design the circuit for S to be so small, even S dash will be small, even S double dash will be small. That's the uh, point to be noted over here. Alright, hope you understood. Um, hope you, hope this video will be helpful for you. Thanks for watching.